If you have a problem with your DNS records and someone has tried to send you an email but you've not received the email, one of two things will happen. Either they will receive a bounce back, meaning the delivery has failed. And that means that the email will never come through to you. It will just bounce back to the original sender. I've created my Gmail Workspace account. I used to receive emails, but since May the 7th, I can't receive any emails anymore. I tried everything, but there's no way to fix it. Can someone help me? If you have a Google account and your emails are not being received right now, your issue is probably to do with one of two things. Number one, it's something to do with your domain names or your DNS settings. And that could be something related to a number of different issues. I'll cover some of the basics and how to test for it. The second issue that it might be is you might have forgotten to pay your bill and Google might have put your account on pause. And that's a pretty simple solution. You need to check inside your account settings, log into your admin panel, go to the account section, check your subscriptions and make sure that you're paid up and your billing account is in good order. Now, if that doesn't fix your problem, let's look at some of the other issues that might be causing a problem with Google. Let me show you some of the things that you can check to make sure that things are running tip top as well. So the first thing I like to do is check that the domain registration is valid. It seems silly and it seems basic, but the number of customers who call up our IT help desk and say, hey, my emails are not working. There's something wrong with Google. Can you please fix it? We check their domain name and subsequently we discover that they haven't renewed their domain name. Now, it's usually something pretty innocent, like a credit card has expired or you got an email from GoDaddy and you just didn't see it or it went to your spam mailbox or something like that but this is definitely the first thing that you wanna check. Easiest way to check a domain name registration is head along to a website called whois.sc. That's my favorite one for that. And if you're clever, you can even go whois.sc forward slash your domain name. So I'm gonna punch in itgenius.com and it's automatically gonna do a lookup on my domain name without me even having to make an extra click. It's gotta check I'm not a robot. I suppose that's fair enough. And this is gonna give me a domain report of the registration of my domain, when it's due, is it active or not? When was the last time it was updated? So you'll see here, I can see when it was created. I can see when it expires. So I've got plenty of headroom for expiry considering we're recording this in 2024 and when the registration was last updated as well. Now I can also see the name servers. And if you don't know where your DNS settings are set right now, this will give you hopefully a hint of where your settings for your domain name are actually stored. Now, mine are pointing to Cloudflare, so that's pretty obvious. That makes sense that my settings would be in Cloudflare. If you don't recognize the names here, sometimes checking the name servers with a Google will help you to find what service provider may be using those name servers. And so if it's Wix, if it's Squarespace, if it's GoDaddy, if it's somebody else, you'll hopefully be able to find which name servers have the DNS because if your domain name is registered and you're still not getting emails, your problem is something to do with DNS. So let's have a look at your DNS then. Let's do some basic troubleshooting there. So the first thing for us to do is head along to another handy online tool. And this one is called mxtoolbox.com. Now, when we go to mxtoolbox.com, again, we can run a search on our domain. I'm gonna punch in my domain name, itgenius.com, and it's gonna bring up a report on the DNS settings for my domain. So once this opens, I'm gonna be able to see how my DNS is configured and it's gonna tell me where it's actually pointing to for my mail service. Now, this is MX Toolbox because the primary record we're trying to work on here is for mail. MX is short for mail. There are other DNS records as well that exist for your business. On your domain name, you will have an A record and that A record will typically point to your website you will also have sometimes a C name record. Another name for that is an alias record. And sometimes you'll use a C name record for an alias of your domain, like www.yourdomain. That will typically point towards your domain name on your web hosting as well. Now, there's lots of other uses for DNS records, like if you have a physical office and you wanna work from home, but dial into an app or a service at the office, you may choose to use a host name like office.yourcompany.com and you would also set that up as an A record. I won't go too much into the detail about the other records because today we're gonna to be focusing on MX. When we run a search on mxtoolbox.com, by default, it's gonna to be doing an MX lookup. And you can see here, I've got a dropdown 
with lots of different lookups that I can do for my domain name, but for now we'll focus on MX. Now, as I scroll down, you'll see there are a number of different records, and these are effectively your mail server records in order of priority. The numbers here represent a priority, so it'll first go to anything listed with a one, and then any number you set, in this case it's fives and then tens, they will have equal priority based on the number that is there. Now, the simplest thing for you to look for to check that your domain name is configured correctly for Google Workspace Delivery is to scroll down and look for your email service provider is. Now, it says Google Apps, which is the old name for Workspace, even before it was G Suite, so they're running two names behind. But if it says Google Apps, you're in luck. It means that your email's domain name are actually pointing to the right place, to Google. Now, if they're still not receiving any emails, well, there might be something else going on with your account. It may be suspended because of Google's anti-spam or explicit content policies. Sometimes there is a bug or an error of some sort in the billing and it's not immediately obvious in your administration panel. Sometimes you may have configured your DNS records here, but for some reason there's a reputation issue with your domain and that can be impacting delivery. Mostly that's going to impact outbound, but yes, sometimes it does impact inbound delivery as well. Maybe for some reason the name servers that you've set are faulty or they're not quite correct and the name servers with your domain name registrar are not quite sending the information to where your settings are. So the settings could be correct here but maybe they're just not being read properly by the receiving person or the person that's querying the DNS records. If you still have problems with this and you need help you can click the link down below this video get in touch with our team. We have a quick fix service which is available during Asia Pacific and US time zones. And that means that our team who are on standby five to six days per week will be able to log in, fix your Google records, and we have a no fix, no fee guarantee. So if you do get stuck, it is completely refundable if we're not able to fix the problem. If you need help right now, click on the link down below and chat to our team. But if not, if you're on the call and everything's running hunky-dory, great, big thumbs up. You can also use this MX Toolbox tool to check other solutions like your, what have we got here, DKIM, your DMARC policy and your SPF policy, three important policies for delivery. If you, if that sounds like complete nonsense to you because it's tech speak, then just search our channel for SPF. If you search our channel for SPF, you're going to find lots of videos explaining what those are, what they do, and how to make sure your emails don't end up in people's spam mailboxes when you're sending email by configuring those correctly. It also means that people can't pretend to be you on the internet, which is pretty useful as well. I should also add, if you have a problem with your DNS records and someone has tried to send you email, but you've not received the email, one of two things will happen. Either they will receive a bounce back, meaning the delivery has failed. And that means that the email will never come through to you. It will just bounce back to the original sender. Think of it like a return to sender. A letter comes into your letterbox and it's for the wrong house or the wrong person. You can just write return to sender on that email or that letter, sorry and then you can send that back to the postman and they take it back to the post office and I don't know where it goes, it goes somewhere else. But that's what a bounce back is. Secondly, if you have an email that was sent and it's not yet received by you, it might be in pending status. Now, pending status is a special status where a delivery has been attempted, but it hasn't yet reached the recipient. It doesn't necessarily bounce back, although the sender may receive a message to say that their email has been delayed but effectively, the mail has not yet been delivered to you, so it's sitting there in a holding pattern. Now, it usually only waits there for a day or two or maybe three, and if it can't deliver after a number of days, it will then typically send a bounce back to the original sender. But if you're able to fix your emails quickly, what that means is you're likely to still receive each of those emails progressively over the next couple of days as delivery is re-attempted. Now, think of this like someone trying to deliver a parcel to you, you're not home, and they take the parcel back to the local post office, or they take it to the courier depot, and they try and deliver it tomorrow, they try and deliver it the next day. If they're unsuccessful after a certain period of time, they're then obviously gonna send it back to the sender, and the same thing is happening here in the digital realm. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.